something is most definitely brewing behind the scenes, guys. Ripple is becoming active once again, but why? Lots of um, interesting news coming out and about, guys, and it, and I, I believe things are just going to accelerate from here. Again, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday will be the signal, guys. Will be the trigger of what happens next in the markets, right? What happens in the stock market and the crypto market, guys? I believe we pump, right? Literally, I'm all in. I'm all my liquidity is in uh, cryptos, guys, right? I'm all in. I barely have any cash. Now, blow off top is by no means over and done, guys, because the everything bubble will keep growing, right? Now, this this chart, guys, shows the market cap to GDP. In 1990, uh, 1929, right here, guys, it was at the level was at around 105%, uh, 2000, 138%, 2007, 105%. And right now we're at 188%, guys, right? So things are getting out of hand, but I still believe we go higher, guys. Why? Because that's what the chart says. Right. So so things are looking quite well. Now, how do we know? Well, well, Wednesday will be the trigger, guys, right? Wednesday will 100 percent know what happens next. Um, I'm hoping they're um dovish, guys, right? Which means they are bullish for the stock market and cryptocurrency markets, guys. Now this may indicate, this may foreshadow the upcoming months, guys, right? Or, or, or the Wednesday news. Because f for all coins, guys, this SRI indicator t is telling us that all season has already begun, right? And this is why I believe Ripple's coming out of the woodworks with news after news after news, guys, right? Articles after articles. Um, Brad Garlinghouse, David Schwartz going um, and, and being interviewed. Right, these things don't happen in, in in bear markets, guys. Right, they work behind the scenes. Now, 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 things are starting to come uh, and appear out of nowhere, guys. Right, so the later half of this video, it's all about XRP. But first, we have to preface the video um, because look at this chart. So every every time um, this indicator goes below this uh, line, guys, right, this threshold right here, and we see it turn green. Last time, it, last time it turned green, guys, was right here, right? And then we consolidated for the next two months. It just turned green as well last month, I think, right? So the next two months, so this month consolidation, probably um, next month as well, guys, and it's blast off time, right? Or can it be shorter, right? Because it usually um, charts rhyme, guys. It's never 100%, uh, it never 100 follows a previous cycle, right? Though this indicator is telling us that we are right now green, guys, Right? Look what happened last time. Exactly. And I think we're going to explode like this, guys, very soon. Right? And that's when the black swan appears. Um, for this chart right here, I wouldn't be worried, guys, because this chart just says, look at this, guys, right? we just been holding above this support line. Right now, if we break below it, that's not a good sign. But for now, we're holding above it, guys. Right? That's a that's actually a beautiful sign because that just means uh, we're testing, we're retesting this resistance and it's flipping into support right now. Right? The next move will be this, guys. Right? Look how fast things can change. Right? We're talking about the next like this summertime, guys. Look how look how fast things can change. That's what I'm talking about. Right? Now we are not in an altcoin bull run, not even close, guys. The reason being is because Look at this chart, right? This is others versus Bitcoin on the daily. We're at the lowest range, right? Think about that. When this explosive war is upside, it's go time, guys, right? Maybe, maybe this will go like this, right? So that means Bitcoin pumps to like 100K soon, right? In the next weeks. And then they fake everyone out, guys, right? And then they pump it. They pump all, all coins. I have been hearing throughout social media that people are saying all coins are dead and all sorts of stuff, guys, right? But I don't understand how you could... Um, think of that narrative, right? Believe that narrative when the charts are saying something else, right? I wanted to point this chart as well, guys, because in both prior cycles, all coins have peaked exactly 546 days po post ha having, right? If this cycle follows the same trend, this would suggest an all coin peak in October 2025. Let's look at that, right? We have a long ways to go. What I believe will happen here is like this, guys, right? Some crazy high, and then we're going to come back down. Right, but then even go higher until 2026, guys. Right, like I don't know, go through the roof at that point. Right, the same thing happened here, guys. Look at that, literally an end. Right, bearish divergence. 
is, is probably going to form. So I'm excited. I truly am. Now, check this out. This this chart, guys, shows us um, how how strong are certain altcoins, right? Overbought. There's only one altcoin in the overbought uh, territory, right? Region. It's BNX right here. I don't even know that coin, but strong are uh, these coins right here. Neutral these coins, but then weak. I see XRP right there. How is XRP weak? XRP should literally be at this ter territory, right? Which it should be at oversold, guys. I don't know how it's weak, but it should be at oversold. Though, that means it's, there's only one way, and that's up, guys, right? It will travel up here to overbought at some point in time. That's just my belief. Why? Here we go, guys. This is why, right? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Guys, I truly feel it. I truly, because because we don't even know. We need to look at red alerts or anything, guys, right? Look at speculation. The charts tell the news, right? This this chart literally says soon there will be some type of what, guys, right? News that sparks XRP's price action to do this, right? Every time we have been at this region, what has happened, right? And and look at this, one two three months, one two months right here, one two. It's like two three months, guys, right? We stay at this uh, at this region. So maybe this month we're not going to explode, but possibly next month. Or maybe we will this month. Nobody knows, guys. But at this range, I will not be a seller. I'll actually be buying XRP, right? Especially if you own Bitcoin, that is. Because this is XRP versus Bitcoin, guys. And if XRP does this, that's outperforming Bitcoin to the highest degree, right? Now, something is most definitely brewing because Ripple is it has been activated, guys. Check this out. They say that we are proud to share that Ripple is featured in the Fortune Best Workplaces in the Bay Area list for 2024, right? And look at this, guys. Right here, we see Ripple Labs number 17. Fortune Best Workplaces in the Bay Area 2024, small and medium companies, right? Oh, wait. Oh, I, I, I thought that was um, XLM, right? Seller for a second. I don't know. I don't think their name is Seller Solutions, though. Um... And then this is all uh, all large com cam uh, companies, guys, right? Look at that. So very beautiful, guys, right? Not to mention, this just came out as well. Very excited to finally reveal the XRP Ledger and uh, Korean fund, guys. As part of the bil 1 billion XRP commitment from Ripple, this fund will entail tens of millions of dollars over time for corporate pl uh, partnerships, developer grants, investment, and more in the in a region that already calls itself home to the XRP Ledger innovation, right? This is a good use of the escrow wow so ripple x came out with we are proud to launch the xrp ledger uh japan and korea fund to boost innovation and utility on the xrp ledger in, in the apac region guys there we go right and we know over there at asia guys right in asia they love xrp specifically what was it was it korea guys i'm pretty sure it was south korea and they ramped up xrp's price in the 20s in the end cycle of xrp in the last um bull run for XRP guys right when it went to three dollars and 84 cents I'm pretty sure it was Korea doing that right South Korea to be exact um, because they love XRP there right and if I'm not mistaken Brad Garland House actually is going to an event there um, early September as well guys right so this is huge news again this doesn't that this does not happen during a bear market guys right I'm super excited because this is going to propel more innovation within the XRP ledger so check this out Right, so so people are extremely happy at, uh, of this, guys. The XRPL Japan and Korea Fund will provide support for a range of robust in, uh, initiatives to foster in, innovation on the XRP ledger in both countries, including corporate partnerships, collaborate um, collaborate with leading companies in Japan and Korea to integrate the use of the XRP ledger and explore enterprise use cases across a range of industries, developer grants, provide funding along with technical and business support to promising projects being developed on the XRP Ledger, startup investments, identify and invest in early stage companies leveraging the XRP Ledger to build new and exciting use cases, community growth, support for local events, hackathons, and uh, educational programs to engage and grow the XRP Ledger communities, guys, right? And the XRP Ledger Japan and Korea Fund is part of the Ripples of Ripple's 1 billion XRP commitment to provide financial, technical, and business support for developers building on the XRP Ledger. That's significant. This is so strange to me that this comes out now, actually, right? This tells me that something is something is about to blow the lid, guys. Open. It's like a volcano eruption, 
right? Awaiting to, uh, f for some type of catalyst to awaken it, right? Wait a minute. This means to me, this this signals to me that Rita will be fo FOMOing in guys heavily to the XRP ledger, right? And then buying XRP and, and the XRP ledger tokens and all sorts of stuff, guys. The craziness has yet to come. The launch of this fund is a testament to Ripple's strong belief in the potential uh, of Japan and Korea as pivotal regional hubs for blockchain innovation, right? It also underscores our wave unwavering commitment to fostering innovation in our local in the local XRP ledger communities, and we look forward to seeing the transformative impacts of this fund in these vibrant markets. Look at that, guys. Right. So this is most definitely huge. Wow. Look at this. At, at the World Expo 2025 in uh, Osaka, Japan next year, the XRP ledger will be used for issuing official Expo NFTs for millions of attendees, right? Think about it just for a second, guys. I I'm exposing the timeline, right? They say 2025 right here, right? So let's just say we're right here, guys, right? This is us right now. And if we go something like this, guys, right? And that's 2025, guys. In, to, in the year 2025, right, in the year 2025, are we going to be in the bear market? No. Because they wouldn't be issuing these NFTs, right, if they were quote-unquote dead by 2025. We're probably going to be up here, guys, somewhere by that year, right? So this is most definitely fascinating. To further demonstrate Ripple's commitment to these markets, key executives will be attending and speaking at major industry events in August and September. Oh, there we go, guys. Look at that. Such as WebEx Asia and Japan and Korea Blockchain Week, right? We're telling you this does not happen in a bear market. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Why are they so active? Come on, guys. This is insane, right? Ripple will also be hosting community events in Seoul and Tokyo in early September, guys, both of which will provide an opportunity for local community developers to learn more about the XRP Ledger and Korea Fund, guys. I'm done. It's truly time. I'm so excited, right? Not to mention, even Hugo, guys, this will propel and supposedly bring um, XRP utility, right? The Hugo explains Flare FSS for XRP and Bitcoin. We're telling you it's time. This isn't financial advice, though. Please like today's video. Thank you. Questions from the community. I have questions for myself. Um, maybe we can start with the launch of the open beta for F assets. Tell us about that. Cool. So for any new listeners, let's let's define what F assets are. Sure. Um, so we, we you know we're working on things called F XRP, F BTC, uh, to name a few. There are obviously other potential F assets, um, but we're focusing on F XRP and F BTC. So what what is that really? F assets is a bridge. Um, it's a bridge to be able to use your token from those networks which do not have smart contracts uh, on Flare uh, with smart contracts and therefore with DApps like uh, you know DeFi um, and also for payments. You know you could do uh, uh, payments, for instance, that are perhaps less applicable to XRP but certainly applicable to Bitcoin. Uh, you know very cheap, very fast payments uh, as well. But being able to use your XRP or your Bitcoin in, um, in DeFi, uh, you know, is a, is a valuable reason. Um, but really, there are other bridges for these kind of things. Why? Why F assets? Uh, well, F assets is the only bridge that has been built with verifiable economic security. Uh, everything else um, is, is sort of re relies on a form of trust, or you can't really at any time fully understand the economic security so that's that's a facet there we go guys right it's coming live on songbird here very shortly and on flare it'll be coming later this year guys so that's our two catalysts for xrp right look at this we pump for summer right dump because of black swan guys probably and go even higher until 2026 right look at all this money that we made throughout the years guys nobody's ready but it seems like things are picking up here it's like a snowball right it keeps gathering more snow and getting bigger and bigger and bigger guys let's go i'm truly ready finally not finish your voice but anyways guys hope you guys make this see ya